in a debate Fletchoid had on his channel with one Peter Markley, Fletchoid followed the usual routine he and most flat earthers uses in debates. He just lies continuously and hopes his opponent doesn't know enough about the subject to call him out on his lies. The whole debate circled around the biblical explanation of the flat earth and therefore in itself it was all a load of unsubstantiated nonsense. But Fletchoid managed to interject some colossal lies. First he makes sure that Markley is no expert in the field and then he claims implicitly that he is one himself. He starts to teach his opponent with... Well, Do you know I'm, how surveying works? I'm not a surveyor. You know, I can I, tell you. I can tell you it's done with planar surveying and it's required to have a horizontal reference datum. So therefore, using a flat earth to make your measurements. This is a typical flat side lie. The first part of his statement is true. Planar surveyors indeed use a horizontal datum for their measurements. But the second part is just not true. He ignores and keeps ignoring during this debate that horizontal isn't a universal direction. Horizontal at one point is not parallel to horizontal at another point on Earth. Reciprocal zenith angle measurements have shown that to be true, a flat side knows that. His opponent suspects that Fletchoid is lying there, but he doesn't know enough about surveying to counter Fletchoid lies with arguments. Based on the conversation we just had about the math of Tissot's Indicatrix and measuring the shape of your country, I am pretty sure that what you just said is wrong. And Fletchoid eagerly points to his opponent's lack of knowledge. Sorry, you just <laughs> said you know nothing about... I didn't so say I know nothing. To tell me, the guy that's telling you how it works, I'm wrong. Well, you've shown a lot of <laughs> ignorance so far. And I haven't shown I think... any ignorance. Then Markley points out that planar surveyors use one horizontal datum for a limited distance and explains that that distance depends on the required accuracy of the measurements. It approximates a flat Earth if you only measure locally within a certain distance because that's how math works. And then Fletchoid comes up with the big lie. And how far is a local distance in planar surveying? Um, planar surveying goes up to 150 miles before geodetic surveying starts coming. This just isn't true. Everywhere you look, you can find that planar surveying stops at the borders of an area of 250 square kilometers. This means a circle with a radius of the square root of 250 divided by pi, which comes out to be around 9 kilometers. My own surveyor's handbook even reduces this to 5 kilometers. Even if you consider a square area, the sides would be no more than 16 kilometers, making the distance from the center to any corner no more than 11 kilometers. So Fletchoid is lying here with a factor of 30, and if you are generous, a factor of 14. Obviously, Fletchoid doesn't know the difference between an area and a distance. But what's worse is that Fletchoid shoots himself in the foot big time. He acknowledges the existence of geodetic surveying. He acknowledges the fact that planar surveying, the one he says measures the flat earth, quad non, is limited to, in his mind, 150 miles. That is 240 kilometers, which in reality is 5 to 11 kilometers. For greater distances, geodetic surveying kicks in and geodetic surveying is based on a datum that follows the geoid. Geodetic surveying is only possible on a globe Earth. Geodetic surveying measures the globe. We knew that when Fletchoid opens his mouth, most of the time what comes out of his mouth is not true. Now we know that even when he is lying, he contradicts himself <coughs> and acknowledged the earth to be a sphere. He's not only an arrogant liar, 
He is stupid also.